Aloha and welcome to this deployment module. This is a fun module. I think you guys are going to really enjoy this. It's not at all hard and you're going to, at the end of this, be able to publicly um, display your app through a global URL. Um, and uh, I want to start by thanking the Meteor Development Group who, are who is sponsoring this class by providing free hosting um, for your application development. So, uh, what you're going to do in this module is first, um, you'll, I want you to read this article on the web. It's kind of good. It's just a general overview of deployment in general, some of which we will do and some of which we won't, but it's kind of in, in this semester. But as a general goal, um, there's a lot of helpful things about, about deployment in here. Um, the second article that you really need to go through, you'll go through this in detail, is this deploy guide, which talks step by step um, about how you go ahead and, and do deployment in Galaxy. Not, not very hard, um, uh, but, and then I have a couple optional readings, but what I do in this first experience is tell you um, for each step in that deployment guide, some additional notes. So for example, in the deployment guide, the first step is to sign up for Galaxy. Okay, And then what I do is tell you in this experience that you do not have to sign up for Galaxy, <laughs> basically, um, because there is an organization called ICS 314 Fall 16. You just go to that URL um, and I will hopefully by the time um, you're reading this, I will have provided your Meteor account name um, as a member of that organization so that you just go to that organization and you're already signed up for Galaxy and you don't have to provide any credit card details. Okay, so similarly with all the other steps in the deployment guide, first read the deployment guide and then um, read my annotations because I, I think they. You know, I just provide more specific things for this class, which helps you go through it a little more smoothly. One of the really important things here is that when you do the actual deployment, you specify our organization as the owner of the app. That's not listed at all in the in the deployment guide, unfortunately, but but that's crucial for you guys so that it ends up deploying the your application to the ICS 314 Fall 16 organization, which will then be billed. Um, for for your usage, um, and and if you don't put this in, it's going to go. It's going to be deployed to your personal account, and then you know you have to pay for it. So don't want to do that, right? Um, so that so what I'm having you do in this experience is basically just deploy your digits app to a you know test deploy with your initials dot com just to show that you can go through the, the deployment steps. And so this is an example of my digits application running at testdeploypmg.meteorapp.com. Um, and then as soon as you're done with that, you go ahead and delete that app because obviously who cares about digits being publicly available. And also we don't have unlimited um, you know, resources um, in that organization. So we um, can't just have a gazillion apps deployed. Um, so go ahead and de delete it as soon as, uh, once you've created it, um, you'll take a screenshot of this page right here and, and post it to the deployment channel um, just to kind of prove, okay, yeah, I went through the steps and I was able to, to deploy something. Um, and and, and that's, that's all we really need for this, this particular experience. And then the more fun one is once you've gone through with digits and you know how to do the deployment, you just redo the steps this time with just one person in your team deploying the current version of your final project to Galaxy. And now, um, you know, at this point, you can always have a publicly accessible URL. Say, for example, you know, Alloy. Um, if, if Alloy hasn't already been used somebody, by somebody in Galaxy, then, then the Alloy team could deploy their app to alloy.meteorapp.com. And, you know, botaniary, they probably don't have anybody Let's use that word. So they could have botaniary.meteorapp.com and then study buddy one. You know, they, you got a guy's got to think up a new name for yours and then you deploy it to, to that spot. So that's the goal of the deployment module is just to um, 
get, you know, go through the test steps, everybody individually, and then just one person on the team deploys the final project. After that first person has done it, anybody on the team can always make a redeployment. So it doesn't have to be that one person. There's a couple optional readings if you want to take a look uh, for more about uh, Galaxy and deployment. I don't know that you'll actually need to, to look at these. I think the deploy guide plus my uh, instructions in the test deployment should be enough. So have fun with this, and I'll see you soon.